We're moving along to the town of Aix-en-Provence, and then we'll pay a short visit to Marseille. Following that, we're going to continue along the coastline to Nice and Cannes and Monaco. While visiting Aix, we'll spend most of our time naturally in the old town. We're standing in the heart of Aix-en-Provence, a beautiful French city. It's been called the most desirable city in France to live in, and it's because of the ambiance of the place. It has a remarkable history that goes back to the 15th, 16th centuries when it was a very fashionable place to live, right up through the 17th and 18th centuries. There's no really ancient history visible here. There's no Roman ruins left. And there's some cars that go through the central part of town. There are also a lot of pedestrian lanes. The pedestrian zone is very extensive, as you find in most European cities right through the heart of town, lined with shops and cafes and little places where you can get a takeout sandwich or there's high quality restaurants. And the main boulevard is lined with elegant cafes, a good place to sit and while away some time. The traffic is pretty moderate here. The population is only about 150,000 in the whole city. There's a lot of young people here. They say nearly one third of the population is students here in Aix-en-Provence. There's a large university. The city is roughly divided into an old town and a newer town. And it's the old town that has the greatest charm. Behind me is the Fountain of the Dolphins. We're in the Place Dauphin, and it's one of the 200 fountains in the city of Aix. Let's listen to the street musicians for a moment as we enjoy the sights of the quaint streets and the sidewalk market. You know, too often we're in a bit of a rush when we're traveling or in our daily life and you walk by some sidewalk musicians and you might not even stop, but it's worth a moment to listen to such a fine sound. And they don't mind if you just stop and stand there and stare at them right in front of their face. That's why they're there and they would certainly appreciate a little gratuity in return, of course. The old part of town is quite small, it's less than a half a mile across, with a number of outdoor squares for a meal or a snack, such as Place de Cadeux or the Place de l'Hôtel de Ville. It's the city hall square, very classic outdoor spot with the market and the cafes around it. Well, that's our brief look at X. It's a terrific place to visit. You don't need to spend more than half a day there. And then we continue on our way 